brethren, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm. the Lord who has taken us this far mm. under the circumstances mm. where our hearts are really grateful mm. to God. And in this month of August, mm. where it's the month of women, mm. the world is honoring women mm. who did... Um, significant things mm -hmm. and even in the kingdom of god we have women mm -hmm. of the bible mm -hmm. that did significant things that walked before god with integrity mm -hmm. that walked in the fear of god mm -hmm. and those women are honored and women that walked mm -hmm. before us that walked with integrity and in the fear of god mm -hmm. prayerful women so we, we, our desire is, Lord, we want, we aspire to be like those women in our day. Uh, like what Mordecai said to Esther, how do you know that you are raised for times such as this? So I believe that every woman that is living in these times, God has aligned your life, the purposes of your life are aligned was times such as this. So we want to thank God and encourage all women out there that let us stand up for Jesus. No matter how difficult uh, the situations are, but we live in these times and God trusts us that we, by the grace of God, shall pull it through. So on this day, the, 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 the seventh, of mm. August. We are going to share the word of God um, about prayer. We thank God that uh, in this month, women have agreed that uh, under the circumstances, mm. let us all focus on prayer. Mm. Like the word of God said, if my people that are called by my name, mm. if they can humble themselves and mm. seek my face mm. and forsake their wicked ways, mm. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. So mm. our focus now is on God. Mm. Our focus now, we just put everything down mm. and seek the face of God mm. in prayer. So tonight, brethren, we are going to share the word of God about the power of one accord prayer. Mm. The power of unity in prayer. Mm. We need each other now mm. more than ever. Mm. We must fight these wars as battalions, as soldiers. I know that uh, you can fight alone. Mm. Yes. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 30. Deuteronomy 32, verse 30, it says, How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? Mm. Except their rock had sold them and the Lord had shut them up. Mm. How can one chase one thousand and two thousand and two chases? Two thousands. Mm. So meaning that one can chase only one thousand, mm. but two, ten thousand. Mm. So that number is multiplied ten times when two people come into agreement. Mm. It, it, it is because the Lord mm. had shut them up. Mm. Meaning that when two people come into agreement, God comes in and makes them to win. He said it in his word in Psalm 133, the Psalm 133. The word of God says, Psalms 133. The word of God says, God commands blessings where the children of God are in unity mm. from verse one it says behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity mm. it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard even aaron's beard 
that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the Jew of Hermon, and as the Jew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. For there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. So God commanded his blessings where there is unity, where there is oneness of heart. So when we come together in agreement of prayer, the word of God says again in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. Matthew, Matthew 18, verse 19. The word of God says, Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. If two agree. So the importance of one accord, the importance of unity, the importance of one mind, the importance of one belief. God says, as long as these two agree, as touching anything, it shall be done unto them, whatever they ask. So only two, if they agree. What more about three? What more about 10? What more about 20? What more about 100? What more about 500? If they can be of one mind, one accord, and approach the throne of grace in prayer with that one mind. God will command the blessings there. Amen. So we want to thank God. Romans 15, verse 6, it says, Romans 15, verse 6. Romans 16, 15, sorry, 15, verse 6. That he may be with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That he may with one mind and one mouth glorify God. One mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. One mind and one mouth. We raise up our mouth, our prayers before mm. God with singleness of heart. Mm. God commanded his blessings mm. on such. Mm. Acts chapter 2, verse 46. I want you to look and see the early church, the first church that was moving in power. Verse 46, it says, And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. May God give us that joy and singleness of heart. I believe that singleness of heart can only come from sanctified hearts circumcised hearts are the only hearts that can be one. 47. Praising God and having favor with all people and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. These are the results of oneness. The results of one accord. May God help us that as we go into prayer, may we have one mind, one heart, singleness of heart. With one accord, we approach the throne of grace and we shall see wonders. We go on with Acts chapter 4, verse 32. Acts chapter 4, verse 32. It says, 
And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. Thirty-three, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Singleness of heart, singleness of soul is followed by great power. Where there is no unity, power will lack. It says, in the multitudes, they're not talking about 50 people, 100, 500. Multitudes is a lot of people. And God granted them that grace to be of one heart and of one soul. When you talk about soul, you're talking about the mind, the will, and their their emotions. Well, why? And that this can only be brought about by the power of sanctification, the power of circumcised heart. So as we go into prayer, we are still talking about prayer. But we want to look into what can make our prayer to be powerful, to be more powerful, more effective, to be effectual, to accomplish God's purposes. Prayer of one accord, prayers of one mind, Prayers of singleness of heart. We are going to go further with the word of God. Chapter 5, verse 12. Chapter 5, verse 12. It reads thus. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. One accord. Acts chapter 8, verse 6. One accord brought forth signs and wonders. May God grant us that singleness of heart as we go into prayers. We pray with one accord. 8, verse 6. Acts chapter 8. Verse 6. 8 verse 6. And the apostles, sorry, and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. The people with one accord. May God help us that we be of one accord. Everything that we do, we strive to be of one mind. Because the strategy of the enemy is divide and rule. The strategy of the enemy is to, to scatter our minds so that we, 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 we don't become one. And he knows that where there is no unity, where there is no oneness, even if we can pray, our prayers might not achieve much. He knows the power of unity. He knows the power of one accord. So we must not allow him. May God help us. So we're going to look at our last scripture, Acts chapter 12. This church that was moving with one accord, with singleness of heart. When you look in, in, in Acts chapter 12, from verse 1, and now... About that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James and the brother of John with the sword. So this time, that powerful church that was moving with power, with one accord, 
they were faced with a challenge where the enemy now wanted to vex them, to persecute them and kill them. The enemy had come to destroy them. He took one, the first one, and he killed James, the, the brother of John. And at that stage, we don't hear anything, the church saying anything about it. Chapter 3, it says, And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. When, 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 when Herod saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded and he took Peter as well with the intention of killing him. His intention was he was going to kill them one by one, one by one. But then, verse 5, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. The church stood up the church could not take it. it raised their voice to God. The church prayed. It says without ceasing, continuously so. And God intervened. This is how he intervened. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. Peter here was in a state where he was bound, the, 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 the jail was locked. There was no way he was going to go out. But the prayers of the saints, the prayers of one accord, the prayers of singleness of heart, went before God and God released an angel that went into that prison where Peter was held and we know the story Peter was released miraculously so seven and the and behold the angel of the Lord came about, came upon him, and the light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off of his hands. And the angel said unto him, Get yourself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garments upon thee and follow me. Hallelujah. The church was busy praying without ceasing, and this was happening in prison, where Peter was locked up, chains on his hands and feet, guards on both sides, doors locked up. There was no way Peter was going to go out. But prayers that went before God Prayers of one accord and singleness of heart released an angel that went straight into that prison. He woke Peter up. He told Peter to put on his garments and sandals. And the chains that held Peter fell off by themselves. And the angel said, follow me. And the doors thus opened before them. These are the prayers. These are the prayers of one accord. This is what God can do when the church, with one accord, with singleness of heart, can go before the throne of grace. Every chains will fall off. Every doors will open. We want to thank God for this time. I pray that God gives us that singleness of heart, one mind. We are living in the end times. God has allowed us to live in these times. God trusts us 
that we are going to push his agenda and his purposes shall be accomplished. May God help us. May we remain faithful to him as we are going to be praying in this month of August. All women, let us go into prayer. May God give us that singleness of heart, one belief, one faith. Victory is certain in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.